Don't you hate it when you're trying to listen to music but there's just too much noise? Well, today I have the perfect solution for you. Noise cancelling headphones. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Morgan and today we are going to be taking a look at the WH-1000XM3 noise cancelling headphones from Sony. All the headphones come inside this very protective and very sturdy carry bag slash case which will keep your headphones well protected when you're not using them. Now let's open up the case and see what's inside. Main thing that comes in the case are the headphones, of course. Also inside is the 3.5mm cable so that you can plug your headphones into your devices or your computer. There is also a USB Type-C charging cable for you to charge your headphones. One downside is that it does not come with an adapter or a charger, so you will need to go out and buy one or find one. And the last thing that comes in the case is a in-flight adapter. Now let's talk about the design. The design is very good as they're cushioned around the headband and they are cushioned around the ears, making them very comfortable for you to wear. Like most headphones, the headband is adjustable, which clicks as you adjust it, making it suitable for any head size. Also, the headband on the XM3s are a lot smaller. These headphones are nearly identical to the XM2s, but with slight differences, such as the XM2s had this nice leather finish on the ear cuffs. On the XM3s, however, it has a smoother finish. The headphones only come in two colours, which is a downside if you want more options. The two colours are an all black colour, which has is a copper finish on the Sony logo and a grey silver, the colour here, which has a gold finish on the Sony logo. Now let's talk about each ear, as each one has a different feature, starting with the left one. The left earpiece has two buttons. The first on the bottom is the power button, in which you hold it down to turn it off and on, and once it's on, you just give it a click and it will tell you how much battery you have left. And right above that is the NC slash ambient sound button. This button has three commands. The first is noise cancellation, the second is to turn the ambient sound on, and the third is to turn the ambient sound off. You can cycle through these features with just the click of a button, making it very, very user friendly. I personally only use the noise cancellation feature as I listen to a lot of music but it is nice to have those other options. These headphones are also great for watching and editing videos, which I do a lot of as well. Finally is the headphone jack, which is right at the bottom. So you can plug these headphones into any device or your computer and save on power. Do the right side. Now on the right side it does not have any buttons like the left does, as you can see, but it does have touch controls. If you swipe up and down on the right earpiece, you can raise and lower the volume. If you swipe left and right, you can switch tracks if you're listening to music. And also, if you double tap, you can pause and play music. Another cool feature is that if you put your right hand over the earpiece, it lowers the volume and brings back all the environmental noise, which makes it very useful for when you're trying to talk to someone. Also on the right side is the charging hole, which is right at the bottom for you to charge your headphones when they are flat. And this takes us to the battery life. The battery life on these are super, super good, offering a lifetime of 30 hours, which is very good when you're going on long trips. So charge these up and you are good to go. Also, if you're in a hurry, don't stress because if you charge for 10 minutes, they'll give you five hours of battery life, which is a huge step up from the XM2s, which only gave you 17 minutes after 10 minutes. But even if your headphones are fully dead, you can plug your headphones in using this cable into any of your devices or your computer and just use them as normal headphones. But if you do this, there are a few downsides. The volume will be slightly lower and whatever you're listening to won't be as impactful or punchy. So these headphones are definitely, definitely better with their own power. This brings us to sound quality. The sound quality of these headphones are super, super good. When it's on its own power, of course. As you can access all the features such as noise cancellation and ambient sound. And like I said before, when the headphones are turned on, the volume will be raised and the sound will be more impactful. And if you want to use these headphones out in public, but are slightly worried about the noise cancellation feature, 
don't stress, the headphones have the ability to dynamically change how much sound it lets in based on your movements. And it's all done through a Sony app called Headphones, in which it gives you four movement options to choose from. If you're staying, if you're walking, running, or on public transport. And these modes will automatically change how much ambient sound the headphones let in. And finally, the price. These headphones come in at around $370. So it's a bit on the price end, but trust me, it's well worth the money. Overall, these headphones are fantastic headphones, and I would highly recommend these headphones to anyone who's looking for high quality headphones. The only downside is they're a bit pricey, but well worth the money. If you want more information on these fantastic noise cancelling headphones, check out the Sony website. And also, tell me your thoughts on what you thought of this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.